Hi guys, it's the Pretty Wolf and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video guys, I am going to show you my ultimate summer makeup look and this makeup is inspired by Hindash. If you don't know Hindash yet, you can look him up on his Instagram and YouTube. He's always there and he's uploading videos. And right now on your sc screen is the video or the makeup that he uploaded a few weeks ago and that's his signature summer makeup look and when I saw that makeup, I was in love. Like I literally like oh my god that's kind of like my vibe my type of makeup in the summer so I wanted to recreate that and I can't wait to show you guys the results so let's get started Okay, here we are we are going to start but I just want to let you know guys I don't have everything that he used on that video and I'm just going to kind of um, match that or like try to recreate the color or the technique that he used on his video so the first thing that he used was the sheer glow foundation which is I have I'm in shade Barcelona it's medium 4 and he mixed it up with the uh, radiant booster I believe which is I don't have as well but he literally said it's like a liquid highlighter which is I have what I did is I'm just gonna mix a little bit of highlighter into the foundation and try to use that instead so just to get that little glow into the foundation so for the foundation I'm just going to use my finger to apply this we just need, he used very very tiny amount of foundation and I think that's what makes the makeup looks really nice because the base is not very heavy. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush from NYX number 16 and just try to buff this where I need the coverage. already with the foundation now let's go ahead and put the cream contour and for the cream contour I'm going to use just the NYX cream highlight and contour palette because I don't have the Laguna contour that he used so I'm just going to apply this around the area where it needs the shadow so just over here and here and he did just like Thing just like that and and let's use the foundation brush to blend this same thing on this side it's so easy and this technique works really well with the foundation brush see it looks good already just with that all right, so very simple and quick. Now let's jump into the concealer. And for the concealer, I'm actually using the same shade as what he used on his video. Uh, this shade is Ginger from NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm just going to apply that. I'm going to apply this just under here. And it's more of a highlight. After putting the concealer, of course, we are going to set it with the powder and the powder that I'm going to use is the same as what he used. This is the translucent crystal. You know guys, I am using this so much lately and I'm starting to love it. Just lightly over under here, <laughs> over under here. Lightly just around the eye area because you don't want to put all over your face. Because, you know guys, this makeup is all about glow. So we're not making everything matte. Just giving a little bit of setting onto the concealer. After we set the concealer with the powder, now let's jump into the next step, which is a cream blush. And for the cre cream blush, I'm going to recreate that Portofino shade out um, from this Orgasm palette. This was the last year collection I believe and I'm going to mix in um, orgasm fever super orgasm and orgasm so these three 
I think we're going to make a nice rosy kind of terracotta shade. Yes, it's right here, guys. It's amazing. This is really fun. I'm, I'm enjoying this mixing and try to kind of recreate the same color as what he used. So that's what I mixed in. I'm just going to apply that with my MAC 132 brush. So just dabbing in the area where you want it. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Like, look at that, guys. Right? <laughs> I like it. I like it. Hope you like it too. So doing the same thing on this side and just lightly kind of spread it. Don't stroke so much, I guess, because the base is not really, really full coverage. So you don't want to remove the base under your skin. Oh my God, I love this so much. Like the result is so beautiful. Next up will be my eyes and I'm very excited about this guys but I'm kind of nervous about the eyeliner that he did because I have never done that into my eyes and I don't think it's going to work so I'm going to to I'm going to tweak it a little bit as um, the shape of my eyes I'm going to follow what suits my eyes. So for the eye primer I'm going to use the tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base. This one I'm in shade medium dark. So on his video he used just a dark one. I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of dark concealer to just get that nice color going. So that's what I exactly want. So I'm going to apply this with my real technique. It's the Max Shadow. So let's see and apply this just in the corner. Okay, so just trying to build this up and I did add a little bit more of concealer to get this little darker and I think this is working. So I'm going to continue in doing it on my other eye. Next up, I'm going to set the eye primer with a Laguna bronzer. So let's just darken this up a little bit. So I left the middle of my eye, like my eyelid, empty. Like I didn't do anything in there. Because that is for the shimmer. So let's smoke this out. It's gonna look weird for now. But later, for sure it will make sense after the eyeliner. Alright, so we set it up with the bronzer. Now let's go ahead and apply the... I think I would go with the shimmer first before the eyeliner. And for the shimmer shade, I'm going to get it from one of the NARS palette. This is a limited edition and this was really, really popular. So I'm glad I got them. And I'm going to use this shade right over here on the top. That's the closest shade that I could get from that single eyeshadow that he used. So I'm going to apply this one just in the middle. Yes, it's very similar. As you can see, that is gorgy, gorgeous. <laughs> right, guys, do you see that? So I'm just building up and I think I'm pretty good with that. Now let me grab a smaller brush and just kind of blend this a little bit better into the edge. Just a nice touch, little touch. Alright, so now that the shimmer shade is applied, let's go ahead and work on that eyeliner. And for the eyeliner, I'm going to use the Quick Liner for Eyes Intense from Clinique. I don't have that shade Mambo that he used. It's okay, I'm just trying to get the, the technique that he used and the type and like how it sits on the eyes. Here we go. So 
So I already placed that eyeliner on my eyes. Now I'm going to try to smudge it up with a brown eyeshadow. And just carefully make this a little softer. Alright you guys, I am happy with that and I'm kind of like nervous while I'm doing it but I'm pretty good with that and this is my eye shape so it's not going to look the same as um, his model but this is what I can do so now I'm going to do it on my other eye as well. Alright guys, so the eyes is done. As you can see, I have an extra depth around my eyes now. It's extra dimension. So I'm really happy with the result, but that's a little bit challenging to me because my eyes is a little different. And what I did, I think the idea is you just focus more on the outside and drag the eyeliner outside very, very soft. And then he uses a powder to diffuse or smoothen out the edges so that it doesn't look harsh, which is I exactly do. But I did bring it up a little bit closer to my inner corner because I do have a hooded eyes and I want my eyes to kind of like just elongate a little bit more because that model, she already has gorgeous eyes. So for the contour, I'm going to use my MAC blotting powder in deep dark. So I'm going to accentuate this contour just a little bit more. And this way, it's also setting up the cream powder that we used earlier. What we contour earlier, that's where exactly we are putting the powder to set that cream one. Alright, and just a little bit here. Now I'm going to apply a bronzer on top of that, which is my Laguna bronzer. So I'm going to warm it up. All right, you guys already with the bronzer. Now the next step will be our blush. And so for the blush, I don't have the powder orgasm. So I only have the liquid one. I'm going to use a tiny bit of this and I'm going to um, set it with this blush. This one is from Milani. It's luminous, so it's very similar to orgasm. Um, I do want to apply this on top because I want to set that liquid. So first I'm going to apply the liquid one and just carefully just dab it it's perfect I'm going to use a little bit of beauty blender to smoothen this up just lightly touch it with beauty blender you don't have to like drag it so much do you guys see that so nice all right so now let's Set it with this um, Milani bl blush. Just a tiny, tiny bit. We don't want to have so much color in there as well because, oops, we want natural. So that's the blush. Let me blend it. Just in case there's any harsh edges from your contour, you can always use the foundation brush to just make sure everything is soft. Alright you guys, so after the blush, I am going to apply an individual lashes. So this one is from Kiss and I'm going to apply this off cam and I will be back. And I am back with the individual lashes. I did it guys. I did the mascara, I did individual lashes. That was also my first time. So before we put our, um, I think the highlighter and the lipstick, I'm just going to grab this shimmer shade again, the eyeshadow that I use in the middle of my eyes and just put a little bit on the bottom just to give an extra spark in there and he put it also just into corner of the eyes oh my god i'm so in love with this look right now 
All right, so let's jump into the highlighter. And for the highlighter, I'm using one of my favorite. This is from the Atomic Blonde. The highlighter here is so, so super good. It's almost similar to what he used on that video. And I'm going to, yes, apply it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, I'm so in love. And now let's try to apply the lips. And for the lips, I'm going to probably just correct my lips a little bit with a concealer. Not so much, just a tiny bit. Use my finger to do this. And then I'm not going to use any lip liner at this time. I'm going to use this shade right here. This is a limited edition. Um, Velvet Lip Glide and in this shade Lure. Um, I don't have that lip balm that he used in the oil tint that he used. So I'm going to use a different one which is, this one has a little bit of that orange shade into it. Right there and then I'm going to put a gloss on top to achieve that nice and very plumpy lips I guess and I'm using this one is on the road as well this is a limited edition I think So yes guys, and then the last step that we're going to do is just to set this up with a powder just to make sure that it doesn't smudge on our face, but not so much. There you go guys, I did it. I'm so happy and I'm so in love with this summer makeup look if you wanna you know, just going out and don't want to put too much, not a full coverage. This is really nice. I love it. As you can see right now, I'm so in love, guys. Like, OMG. Like, I love that glow. I love the extra dimension. I love everything in this makeup. It's so amazing. And I'm so glad that he did that. It's an inspiration, definitely. And I hope you guys learn as well and enjoy this video. So let me know if I nailed it or not, or at least half of what he did. I'm not expecting that I will be like him because he's so amazing, but I'm so glad. I'm just really happy with this look right now. And yes, so if you guys like and enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below and Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever I upload my next video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you again on my next one. Bye!